Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Rascal Flatts called God Bless the Broken Road. And we'll talk about an easy way to do it, and then kind of talk about another strum pattern that kind of matches this, the chorus especially. But, but on the intro, we're going to start on an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds like E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then, and then from the E minor, we're going to be going to the F major chord. And we'll talk about a really easy F in a moment, but if you know the bar F major, you put your first finger over the entire first fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky goes to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times if you're starting out or you just don't want to use the bar chords, you could actually use a substitute for that called F major 7. And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go on the B string on the first fret, Second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that'll get you your clear sound out of that. That's called F major 7. And then from the F, we're going to be going to the G major chord. And when you play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger goes to the low E on the third fret, and third finger goes to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, <clears throat> that sounds like G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. When you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, same place he goes for F major 7. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then we're going to be going back to the F major, and then ending up on a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to be on the B string first fret, second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And actually, there'll be a change in that intro later on where, where they end up adding in the G major kind of right after the F. And on the intro, it just kind of starts with just the F. But just to try that all the way through, you got E minor, F, G, A minor, F, C, E minor, Verses start, it's basically kind of kind of working that same progression. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it a little bit more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So you want to do that a lot to kind of get your right hand used to it. The weird thing is at the very beginning, a lot of those chords actually we end up halving. And one way to do that is to just do a just down, down, up, or half the strum pattern on those chords. So we tried it that way, you'd have E minor down, down, up, F down, down, G down, down, B minor down, down, up. And then we have the F with the whole strum pattern, F down, down, up, up, down, we the C with the whole strum pattern, down, up. first verse and then when we get to our pre-chorus part we actually start on the A minor and then we go to G major and then we go to the F major E minor but then we go to a D minor chord and the way you play D minor first finger is going to go to the high on the first fret second finger on the G string on the second fret and third finger on the B string on the third fret and just like the F major 7 you want to kind of strum just the D G B and E or the top four strings kind of skinny four strings and then from the D minor, we're going to be going to the G major. And then we kind of have a little piece of, of our, our intro part coming back where we do E minor, F, G major, A minor. But then we do an F major, and then a G major, and then we go back to C major. So we tried that pre chorus part with, with, with our strum pattern. We have A minor, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up. Up, down, half an F, down, down, half an E minor, down, down, half a D minor, down, down, half a G, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, F, down, down, G, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, F, down, down, G, down, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, and a big C. And then we'd be going into our chorus. 
chorus part, which takes a lot of those chords and kind of mixes it up. So we start out doing our whole strum pattern on a lot of these, and we'll talk about another way that, to kind of match the recording with this in a moment. But just to try it with that strum pattern, you'd have F down, up, up, down, C down, down, up. To kind of a chorus tag which is like our intro but now the G is getting added in after the F chord so now we got E minor down F down down G down down E minor down down F down down G down down up and then we kind of go back to our intro part we got the E minor down F down down G down down E minor down gets repeated for our second verse. So then you got E minor down the F down down G down down E minor down down F down down G down down C down down up down up E minor down the F down down G down down E minor down down F down down G down down C down down up down up. And then we be back to our pre-chorus part. We got the A minor down up up down G down down up. So we got our F down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, D minor down, down, C down, down, G down, down, up, up, down, F down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, and we kind of have a big stop now on the A minor. And then we got D minor down, down, C down, down, F down, down, up, up, down, then we come up the F with a down. And then we're kind of back to our, our verse progression, intro progression. We got D minor down, F down, down, G down, down, B minor down, down, F down, down, G down, down, C down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 down. And then we hit a solo part that's very much like part of our chorus where we got F down, up, up, down, C down, down, up. We got the F down up, up down C down down up, up down G down down up, up down B A minor, and then we got a D minor down C down down up F, and there's kind of another push on F, and then we kind of hit our outro, which is very much like our intro, where we got the E minor down up F down down G down down B minor down down up F down down G down down B minor down. coming back or our intro progression coming back at the end for the outro. We got E minor down F down down G down down E minor down down F down down G down down C down down up down E minor down down F down down G down down E minor down down F down down up up down big G and kind of a big C at the very very end. So that would be one way you could kind of strum through it, chorus part rather. It really feels a lot like Rascal Flatts is using something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, 
you kind of divide that into two parts. One, two, one, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note, and that's what the down, down, up, up, down, up is working off of. What a sixteenth note is, is if you're dividing that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what really kind of matches the chorus is a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up strum pattern. And what I mean by that is like if you took the F and did kind of a long down for three and then an up on four. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. On the second beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on the third beat, you're doing up on two and four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up. Down up, down up, right along with the strum pattern, or the one, two, three, four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. So all together, you got down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. The weird part is it sounds like Rascal's kind of, kind of like halving the chords between those. So for instance, you do the F with the down, up, up, and then you go to the C for the down, up, up, down, up, down. And you can even use the down, down, up, up, down, up for, for the rest of the song and actually just make this change on the chorus and it would really match it really well. So if we tried that all the way through your chorus, you'd have the F down, up, up, C. C G. It's almost like you have to go down, down, up on the D minor, down, down, up on the C, and then go to the G for the long down, 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 up. So kind of mixing up the strum pattern. So if you do minor, down, C, down, down, G, down, 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 up. So we try that coming out of the chorus or through the whole chorus. You got F, up, up, C, up, up, down, up, down, G, down, up, up, C. CF at, at the very end where you got D minor down, down, down C down, down, down. That's kind of that build up at the end of the chorus. But then if we tried that through our intro part, the weird thing is you do that down, down up on just about every chord in our in our intro. So if we were gonna take the 16th and apply it, it'd be all about the down, down up. So we're kind of playing one on down on one, down on three, up on four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down. E minor down, down, up, down, 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 G down, down, E minor down, down, up, down, 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 G down, down, C down, 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 E minor down, down, up, down, down, G down, down, E minor down, down, up, down, 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 G down, down, C down, down, down. And on your pre-course, actually, you'd be doing the the the. You could half the A minor G like we were doing in the chorus part. The A minor. Hit the down down ups through the rest of that pre chorus. That, so then you have the F down, come on down, down, come on down, down, G down, down, come on down. something else that you want to try and, and kind of add in. But that's the basics of how you can strum through God Bless the Broken Road by Rascal Flatts. So good luck!